Corporate Democrats are uh, trying to muster up support for their vapid, non-existent vision for the future. Um, and in order to do that, they created their own version of CPAC, the Conservative Political Action Conference. So um, this is hilarious because, first of all, that already exists. <laughs> So you had all these Neera Tandon, all these uh, corporate Democrats get together. They're like, I have an idea. Maybe we should do like a CPAC thing. And they're like, oh, yes, great idea. Tremendous. Let's uh, let's go down that road. And, um, you know, this is this is a first uh, of its kind type thing. Well, actually, no. Netroots Nation already exists. There are also other progressive conferences where you have actual true progressives and liberals get together and they, um, you know, talk about important issues, but they pay no mind to actual liberals and actual progressives, so they think it's like an original thought. That's what we'll do. We'll create our own version of CPAC, even though it already exists, and we'll pretend like the one that already exists doesn't exist, um, which is why it's a concern that they're trying to drive the party here. But just how much are they doing it? Well, let's go over to Politico, and uh, we'll see what they have to say about this new conference. Instead of CPAC, it'll be the Ideas Conference. Instead of taking place at National Harbor, it'll be in the main room at the St. Regis Hotel, a few blocks from the White House. Instead of featuring President Donald Trump, it'll be the first real cattle call of the Democrats nosing around 2020 presidential runs. And it'll be the Center for American Progress's big move yet, biggest move yet, to establish itself as both the nexus of the Democratic Party's future and a player trying to shape what that future will be. Democratic Senators Elizabeth Warren, Cory Booker, Kamala Harris, Chris Murphy, and Kirsten Gillibrand, uh, Montana Governor Steve Bullock, and Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti are all confirmed to attend, and more are expected to be added to the event scheduled for May 16th. They continue here. Several of the biggest players, including the Center for American Progress, the Super PAC Priorities USA Action, David Brock's collection of organizations, the National Democratic Redistricting Committee, backed by Barack Obama and Eric Holder, and even the Democratic National Committee itself, have been trying to stake their claims on guiding the efforts against the administration. So, what's the most interesting thing about the people who are mentioned in this article in Politico, and the groups that are mentioned in this article in Politico, they all take corporate money. They're all the big money players in the Democratic Party. They are the establishment, they are the elite within the Democratic Party. So in other words, the same people who are responsible for just losing to Donald Trump are the same people who go, that's cool, we got this shit. You know, step aside actual progressives, step aside liberals, let us take control. Uh, you know, we have all the money, we have all the power, even though we just got obliterated because of our strategy. Let us continue and implement our strategy here and pretend like it's new. No, 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 no. You better pipe down, fuckface. And then furthermore, the people who they're bragging about getting to come to the event. All politicians. Now, some better than others, no doubt about that. Elizabeth Warren is, by no stretch of the imagination, as bad as Cory Booker. Okay, so let's be clear on that front. But, um, yeah, it is concerning that you have all these politicians who are already in power, uh, and you you hold them up as, these. this will be... The, uh, the future of the Democratic Party. No, it's an attempt for these people to flex some muscle and to say, I want to be a 2020 contender. As, now, is that enough to rebuild the Democratic Party? Of course not. You need the grassroots. You need the people. You need, you know, working people around the country, people who defected from Hillary Clinton and went to Donald Trump. And what this shows is they're not willing to have open arms for actual progressives and actual liberals. Because if they were, what would they do? They'd say, okay, all the the big money groups here, David Brock and his ilk, Center for American Progress themselves, who's running this thing. Mm, okay, we proved that we were kind of the problem. We step aside, forget the big money players, forget the elites, forget the establishment. Let's have an actual uh, gathering of real progressives. And what would it look like if you were to do that? I mean, hello, we're in the midst of building this movement right now, and it's been wildly successful so far. There's other groups who are doing it too. 
So who should really be at an event like this? Who should really be the the CPAC of the left? And again, that already exists with Netroots Nation. But it should be, our revolution should be there. Brand new Congress should be there, who we're now working in partnership over at Justice Democrats. Justice Democrats should be there. We Will Replace You should be there. All these groups. Look, again, if you really want to win and you're the Democratic Party, you need the base. Uh, you need the progressive base. So who else should be there? The Green Party should be there. People from the Green Party should be there. Actual activists. People from the Democratic Socialists should be there. Uh, but no, what they're doing is repeatedly and consistently snubbing the base. And again, what the fuck do you think the focus is going to be here at this event? If it's set up by big money groups who take corporate money, take big donor money, uh, and you have uh, politicians who are the main speakers, what's, what's it going to look like in there? You know what it's going to look like. It's going to be the same tired, stale, Hey, we are not Donald Trump. Is that enough to make you want to vote for us? Uh, hey, have I mentioned Russia? Russia, Russia, <laughs> Russia, that's not enough. It's been proven it's not enough. And the same people who are responsible for losing to Trump are now going to be the ones running the show against him. By the way, this is just like that story that we covered recently where the DNC said, we're going to hire uh, a bunch of people for our anti-Trump war room. Who did they pick? The same people who ran Hillary Clinton's campaign and made it so that she lost to Donald Trump. The same people who just lost to Donald Trump now run the anti-Trump war room at the DNC. The last group of people in the country who should be running the war room are running the war room, and it's the same thing we're talking about here. Guys, the problem is that you take the corporate money. The problem is that you're big money groups. The problem is that you're the establishment. You're elites. It's not, you can't fix that without getting to the root of it, without getting to the core of it. And that's the core of it. That's the root of it. But they're, they're never going to learn, so we have to make them learn. <sighs> In order to defeat Donald Trump and the Republicans, because remember, right now, Donald Trump is president, the Republicans have a majority in the Senate, majority in the House of Representatives, majority in state legislatures, and a majority of governorships. They run everything. In order to defeat them, you can't do what you tried before, in order to defeat them, you have to, number one, take a pledge. No corporate money, no PAC money, no big donor money. That's number one. If you don't pass that bar, step aside. Step aside. We're not interested in you. Nobody's interested in you. You're never going to get the millennial vote you need and the base vote you need. Uh, step number two is explain your vision. It's not enough to shriek Russia from the rooftops. You have to say, we're for a single payer. We're for Medicare for all. That's what we're in favor of. We want the U.S. not only to catch up with the rest of the modern uh, countries, we also want to surpass them and be number one in healthcare. That means a single-payer Medicare for All system, and it means implementing it ASAP. We need you to get up there and say, minimum wage needs to be a living wage, and you tie it to inflation. Any of the Republicans who are against this, we're going to steamroll you. We're going to crush you. 80% of the American people agree with us. You want to stand in my way on this? Be my guest. I will, I will crush you in the realm of ideas. Um, you say, no more nation building. No more nation building. We're going to come home from Iraq. We're going to come home from Afghanistan. We're going to spend that money here at home. We're going to do a new New Deal, an infrastructure project. We're going to fight climate change. We're going to push for free college. We're going to get free college. We're going to get money out of politics. That's what we're going to do. And we walk the walk. We don't just talk the talk. We're not taking any corporate money. If you were to care about the issues and fight for it, then you'd win overwhelmingly because the polls show a majority of the American people are already with you. So something's wrong here. There's some sort of disconnect. The disconnect is, you don't really care about those things now, do you, Center for American Progress? You don't really care about those things, Neera Tandon and David Brock. That's not what you care about. You want to keep the establishment in control, keep the elite in control, still have corporate donors, and win. And just, oh, we're Democrats, we're Republican light, but you should love us. It's not working anymore. It's not working anymore. That's why Donald Trump won. So go ahead, have your little fucking shitty establishment Democratic get-together while pretending that you're, you're really progressive and really liberal and you represent the base and you're for the people. I think that's the most disgusting part of it. It's not that they're having their little establishment Democratic get-together. That's fine. But that as you do that, you pretend like you're not the establishment. That's what really gets under my skin. No, you are the establishment. And just the fact that they don't even acknowledge Netroots Nation proves that. 
Just because that's what they're... No, 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 real progressives and liberals don't exist. We are the real progressives and real liberals. We see right fucking through you. JusticeDemocrats.com. That's the answer, guys. Go read our platform. You'll know exactly what we stand for, exactly what we're fighting for. We already have over 70 candidates who are running as Justice Democrats who got through four rounds of vetting. Guys, this is the movement. It's happening right now. And we're going to fight back and we're going to win and we're going to do it with the people. That's who we take money from. We don't take money from big corporations. We don't take money from PACs. We take money from the people. So... Hop on board, man, because this is the movement, and we have to stop the same people who were responsible for the destruction of the Democratic Party for controlling the future of the Democratic Party.